All right, guys, in this episode, we are going to get started on the DIY electric bike, so stay tuned. All right, so here we got just a little sketch that I made of my plan for this bike. So I have a 24 inch wheel um, mountain bike that I just kind of pieced together from three different bikes. So this whole project is going to be on the cheap. I'm hoping somewhere around like 50 to 100 bucks, something pretty comparable to like your regular bike kit. I have this electric motor here. It's 24 volts um, at 14 amps. It makes 250 watts, which is one third of a horsepower. So and it's only 2500 RPM. So in order to get it to even really move, because <laughs> it's not a whole lot of power, I'm going to need a pretty serious gear reduction. Because um, when you uh, think about it, your wheel on a bike from here to here, even if the rim is 24 inch, it's going to be like 26 to 27 inches uh, for the outer diameter with the tire. So I really want to... Uh, have something that has enough power to get up and go so I don't have to pedal up to speed and then engage the motor. So we're going to do a, uh, a go-kart sprocket of number 35. Uh, I think it's like uh, a 12 tooth sprocket that's going to be up here on the motor side and that's going to be mounted to the frame with U-bolts and then I'm going to have a jack shaft over here and I'm going to have a I believe it's a 60 or 72 tooth sprocket over here. And from there to there, that's going to be a pretty big jump. And then I have a 20 tooth and a 44 tooth um, in the regular number 40 chain. So that's going to be about a 2 to 1 there. And overall, with the math that I did earlier in the calculator, from 2500 RPM, by the time it's at the wheel, we should have a speed of around 17 miles per hour which should be just about right for the 250 watt motor. I'm also going to have a probably going to have a tensioner right here um, otherwise I may just slide the motor here forward and then this can go up and down but I still may need a spring loaded tensioner here. I'm going to try to avoid a tensioner to the rear wheel. We'll see how that goes though. Um, it is a little bit tighter than my drawing. The the actual rear wheel probably goes to, or rear of the front wheel probably goes to here. So I've moved the batteries because I'm going to have two uh, SLA 12 volt batteries wired in series. Um, I'm going to make a rear rack uh, kind of similar to my 80cc bike and then I'll have two batteries here wired in series and then power wires are going to go along the frame to the controller and then from the controller over to the motor and then I'm going to have an e-throttle up here which is just going to be like a variable resistor. That's kind of the goal for this project so let's go out to the shop and uh, I'll show you how far I've gotten. Alright so this sprocket from uh, this go-kart is going to be our donor. Um, you can see that bearings in that clutch are pretty much done. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take this clutch housing off and then we're gonna go ahead and just cut the sprocket right there. Alright so I was looking at this closer and uh, turns out it just had a little snap ring and then that's all there was to it. So the sprocket is now separate. Pretty darn good. Alright, I got my sprocket centered up here and my little makeshift welding table. 
So I'm going to go ahead and weld this with the MIG welder around this inner diameter here. Alright, now that I got the tough stuff welded up and it's centered, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the vise so I don't get it stuck on anything when I weld the rest of it. Alright, starting to look pretty good. Now I'm just going to flip it around and go ahead and fill in the back side as well. There we go, that looks good. Alright, now that the sprocket's cooled off here, I'm going to go ahead and slide that onto the shaft of the motor. Alright, and then I'll go ahead and impact that nut on. There we go. Alright, and here is a close-up for you guys. So you can see the motor and the sprocket here. And again, this is just a used motor that I had laying around, uh, left over from an old electric scooter. So that's kind of what the deal is with this build. We're just trying to uh, use what we got and uh, see what we can make for as close to free as possible. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff, uh, e-bikes, uh, motorized bikes, small engines, go-karts, that kind of thing, um, go ahead and click subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell notification so you get notified when the next video is uploaded. Uh, I will see you guys next time, and thanks for watching.